Hey y'all, Iron here, and we are back playing Gunsmith Simulator the game. So, last we finished up, we were, uh, we finished with a Mossberg shotgun, so let's see what is going on here. Alright, so talking about the shooting range here, check it in the car, so just talking about coming to the shooting range, we already know about that. Um, so let's look around, oh my goodness, Uzi, Okay. Uh, a Mauser C96. Okay, wow. Um, definitely go with the Uzi to start with the, for this. Okay, uh, let's see. Repair, paint, and test it. Okay. I'm just so surprised about the Uzi. I, I don't know. Um, all right, so work on it could be helpful. <laughs> Why don't they just say it's the Uzi? I don't understand that. Oh, wow, this looks a little beat up. Holy crap. Wow. All right. Um, someone did not take care of this one, huh? All right. Let's take a look around here. Let's get the magazine out to start. What do we need? Uh, the magazine spring. And then that's it for this? Oh, there's something else in here. What was that? The magazine top part. Oh, there's something down here. What was that? Oh, bottom. Top part, bottom part. Okay. Now we're learning. All right. So what's back here? This is the back sight. Pop that out. Nice and rusty. All right. We've got a cover catch and what the rear sight. Now, is there a hammer on an Uzi? No, I'm not good with guns. So no getting mad. I'm learning. All right. Here's the barrel. All right, nothing else on the barrel. What's this? The foresight nut. Okay. Interesting. That's a little guy. And then this is the foresight. Okay. Oh, does that help with Amy when you're looking down? Okay. Guess that makes sense. I'm trying to remember the controls for the camera because they're so wicked. All right. Uh, get the bolt out of here. And then, oops, work with me, game, work with me. What's in here? The extractor. Now, what does the extractor do? So, this one removes spent casings. All right. Uh, what we got in here? Up oh, the rails. There we go. All right, the railings. Pop those both out. All right, and then what's over here? What's this? This is the barrel nut catch. Interesting name. Let's let's double check that. Part of the barrel. Okay. Um, what else we got here? The pendant. Okay. I guess that's for the strap. If you're using a strap. Looks like, okay, bolt and washer here. Oh, there's still stuff over here. Um, let's see. What is this? Oh, the ejector. Okay, so this is the casings. And this is the feed ramp, so anything... Allows to feed hollow point and make it reliable with ball ammunition. Okay. What's back here? The stock nut. Something we left in here. The rear sight spring. Okay. And then anything else? Yeah, it looks like it's all in the handle here. So here's the sear. That's something I've been learning about. Mm, all right. But there's no hammer in here. So what acts as the hammer? Well, if you know, just leave it in the comments. Definitely be interested. Or maybe there's something I'm missing still. So let's go ahead and pop those out. Same with that one. All right, well now what's in here? The change lever. Okay. What was that? Okay, that was the spring for it. Uh, okay, so this handle is changing what type of shot it does. And then we have the safety button. Makes sense. This is 
unknown because I forgot to read it. Well, I really, really hate this camera sometimes. All right, that was just a magazine part. And then what do we have here? The safety grip. All right, and then what's back here? Change lever. Okay. All right, wow. So we have broken this apart, and it is... It is... Wow, it is beat up. Look at this. Dirty. Look at this. Missing. It's missing a ton of stuff, including the trigger. And then we got some broken parts we need to address. All right. Yeah, a lot to address here. Uh, let's just start with the, the dirty parts. Oops. All right. So we'll get this out, and then we'll just kind of cycle. Ooh, this is not good. Really needs a good cleaning. Uh, let's see. Get in here. Get the back of this. There we go. All right. Need to just clean up. This is what the back sight. Yep. Man, whoever had this gun must have just put it in a barrel full of water and let it sit there. All right. Quick and easy. Oh, geez. Yeah, I was going to say that. I remember the grip being like crazy. So they call that the grip frame. This is the change lever holder. Magazine and magazine spring. Okay. Yeah, this was pretty bad too. Oh, geez. They just get wet and they left, left it outside for years. Cleaning the spring. Surprised you don't just buy a new one. I imagine these probably run what I think a Discord buddy said it runs about three dollars for a spring. I think they were charging ten dollars in the last video. <laughs> um all right, so wow, we can I just click a button and have it buy all of it for us? Because that is an amazingly long shopping list here. Alright, so gun name Uzi. And we might as well just say buy everything because we need everything out of this. All right. Um, kind of wish this. Oh, you just ran away. Kind of wish this was alphabetical to kind of match this. Um, all right. So for just the foresight in general. Okay. So this. Okay. Foresight, left grip, right grip. These are rails. Is it on the next page? Hmm. What am I missing here? Does it go by grip instead of left and right? Alright, let's just make this easier. Left grip, right grip. Alright. Trigger. Got my finger on the trigger. Disconnector. That's because it's DISC, not DIC. Alright, uh rails. Do I just need one rail? Yeah, I just need the left rail. Makes sense. I, I think I remember not seeing one when I was pulling everything off. Alright, receiver cover. Receiver cover. And then I need the cocking handle and slide. Handle and slide, great. Wow, there's still a lot more. I'm very surprised that there's not kind of like a, hey, I just please buy it all because that's a lot. All right, so we need the slot cover plate, the extractor. All right, spring. We just need one, re we just need a return spring. No other springs are needed. All right, get a stock. Like, this is... Am I going to make money on this? Because I feel like I'm losing a ton of money on this. I guess this is how much we have for parts? I don't know. All right, front sheet. And then the stock. Uh, What do we need? Just a regular stock? Oh, we need the stock button. All right, we need more sheet. Uh, we need the rear 
And yeah, left and right. I need a butt plate. Oh, and then lock pin. Okay. All right, perfect. We have literally bought the entire Uzi itself. <laughs> I think there's like what three parts we didn't have to. Buy. <laughs> All right. Um, looks good. Yeah, I think that was the allotted money we can spend for parts. All right, uh, so we gotta get these parts out of here. Let's throw them on the table. Hey, you can see, look, look how much we have to put on here. That is crazy. Like, I'm kind of surprised we took this order because it kind of seems like they might have just found this in the woods and sent it to us to clean it up and send it back to them. It's kind of weird ghost gun. I don't, I don't know if you caught it, but in the fine print it said, please shave off the cereal. So we'll say, please put all these here. Especially all the little parts, geez. Alright, uh, what, oh. Prepare the oiling. Servant, get me my oiling rag. Um... through here and just oil it up treat it like a uh, summer in the beach get all oiled up looking good don't want any of this to be dry don't want it to be nice and wet there's a joke there I'm not making it though all right all right Oof. I gotta put all this back together now. All right, so let's fix the camera here. Let's kind of zoom in. All right, and everyone buckle in because we got a lot of work to do here. All right, so it looks like we can start up here with this, and this will be the receiver cover. Okay, so this is everything up top. And then, where does this go? This is the return spring. That goes here. What else can we put in? Foresight, that's for... That goes in the nut here, and then it goes... Yep, perfect. All right, what else we got? The barrel nut latch itself. Then the extractor. Yep. Perfect. Uh, so let's put the barrel back in itself and then the nut. There we go. We're learning. All right. So there's the cocking handle. Looks good. Uh, we can put the butt plate on here. Oop. Join those together. What is this? This is the stock button itself. Okay, I see. What else needs work done? Okay, so we need the rear sight put to get back together. There's a spring there, but it doesn't have us mess with that, thankfully. Oops. There we go. Looking good. Putting this bad boy back together. Alright, so we'll finish getting the sight on. And I think this is part of it. No, this is the stock nut. Okay. Yeah, it's hard. There's the little latch thingy. The ejector for the casings. Alright, what else we got? Um, so let's see here. The lock pin itself. And then this is the stock. So yeah, we're gonna, this is going to start coming together in the back here in a second. What else is it want to work on here? Oh, the rails. Now we'll actually have both rails for this job. Looking a lot better. So it's saying that we can actually work on the stock... And butt plate back here. 
attach those together. And I, yeah, it looks like it's foldable. Whoa. That was a hot zoom in on that. All right. Uh, what is that? The top magazine part? Oh, I can't. oh this has got to go. Oh, uh, okay. Top, bottom, and then put it in the magazine. All right. So we've done everything there. So now we got to work with the trigger and grips down here. So that's the disconnector. And the feed ramp. What's this? Change lever and the safety grip. Okay. There we go. The change lever itself. Get the trigger in. And what's this? The sear. The sear is the biggest thing I've been learning about guns. Oh, geez. It really, uh, it really, well, my camera is not happy now. Is there a way to reset? I'm just going to leave the table and come back because that was really messed up. I couldn't get it to move properly. All right. Um, so it's just saying that the grip's completed. So we'll put that in. Magazine part. Oh. Wait, hold on. Before I finish this. Oh, okay. I see. Is that like a latch for the magazine? What's this? Safety button. And then can I put the grips on? And then we'll bolt those in. All right. Um, so I assume it's going to say I can put the magazine in now. So is that what that does? Does that help latch it? Okay. All right. And then... Oops. Jeez Louise. All right. So get the bolt ready, get it in there, and then get the top cover on. The receiver cover. All right. Looking good. So they wanted a paint job, right? And <laughs> make the gun beautiful. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have done that, bud. All right. Patterns can be used more than one color. Change the patterns here. Okay. Add and delete patterns. Weather and effect. Okay. Wow, you're screwed, bud. First of all, you never leave me with a gun. You never leave me with the ability... To put stuff on your gum. So how do I do this? Oh, okay, so is there spots? Okay, you could say, hey, I want this here. Alright, well, you get some demon faces. And you get this weird bullet biting lip thingy. Alright, can I just choose colors? When I hit click green. Oh, yeah, bud. No, that's it. I want that color. Oh, metallic? Yes. And glossiness. Ramp that up. Wait, did it not? Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, yeah, it's right here. Okay, perfect. Can I now paint it with that? Oh, I missed something. I missed something in the school of how to do this. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. Now it's going to look like a Call of Duty gun. You messed up big time, bud. You know what, though? Some people pay for it to look like this. That's their prerogative. Can I just hold the button down? No. So you got to, like... Click on everything. I guess that's really nice if you're trying to really customize these guns. For now, I'm not. I'm just trying to give them the prettiest gun possible. Now, where is this pans? So, is this... Okay. Yeah. Alright, so that covers up stickers, too. Can I do the bolts? No, I can't. Okay. Alright. Uh... Oh, I got a paint with the pattern. Oh, this game. 
Um, I want to save this, though. Yes. All right. So just give me that or this. Uh, this game makes no sense. Remove stickers, remove paint now. Leave for now and come back. No, I don't. I want to... Uh, just... Okay, can I be done? That's what you get for demanding a color. Oh, we gotta test the gun. What's that mean? Oh, okay. Uh, remove the magazine, load bolts, and replace. Okay. Oh, this is cool. I'm down for this. Alright, uh, pull the action back to change the hammer. Pull the action back to change the hammer. Oh, okay. The cock and handle. It doesn't say that. Uh, selector set to semi uh, pull on the trigger. All right. Pull the action back to charge the hammer. Charge set at the full auto. Uh, charge set at the full auto on the trigger. There we go. For pitching the safety is engaged. Yes. Well, the safety's right there, isn't it? Oh, wait, nope. I'll do that. Oh, see. Where's the safety? The magazine. Oh, the lever here is the safety. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Yeah, we're not going to give this back just yet. We're going to stash this bad boy in here and we're going to take it to my favorite place. This time, we're going to do random targets. So we hop in our little station wagon with the cool gun safe. Get it going. Yes, here we are. I am ready to play Call of Duty Warzone 2. Alright, we are doing random targets. Now, I haven't used this before. So this will be my first time. <laughs> Hopefully it fires. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, I got it. What's the fire? Yeah. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, this is a lot better. I like this. Oh, got to reload. Duck in the corner. Get called a camper. Oh, they're all lined up for me, huh? All right, there we go. Yep. Eat lid. Ah, Duke Nukem. All right, there we go. That was really fun. Um, what's this? Oh, you can work on new stuff here. Now, that was... Oh, this lets you travel. So, I had that set to, I think, full by the time I was done in there. All right, so this is single. Whoops, R and T are too close to each other. So this is single. And then I can reload and switch it over to full. Right, that was legit, yeah. And you know what, for a game that's, you know, just a simulation game, it still feels really good to shoot. I mean, it's like, it's not like Apex Legends and all that stuff, but it's it feels good. All right, now that we shot up uh, everything we could without getting arrested, we'll head back to the shop and send it off to the guy. Hopefully, he likes the paint job. Because I tell you what, I'd be happy if someone sent me that gun. There's people that pay thousands of dollars in Counter-Strike for guns like this. 
Alright, let's put it here and ship it off. Fold it down, pull the magazine. Rock out a little bit. Alright, let's ship it back to him. Let's see what else we got. Um I've got more mail. What's it say? Grandpa's got a gun for us, an AKM. And I can go buy my own guns now. Cool. But oh, I barely have enough. Barely have enough. Slightly used Uzi. Oh, okay, so you can tell what guns you want to look out for. Oh, that's cool. Well, we still need a little bit more money, so... I really want to try this out. This looks like it'll be fun to mess with. Alright, so let's say, yeah, repair it and test operation. That's easy enough for us. So the Mauser, I think it's a pretty old gun. If you can't tell by the box that they sent it in, geez. Uh, known as the Brutenhandel Mauser. It's a German semi-automatic. Um, ten rounds. Many, uh, very popular military, uh, mil military and civilian applications. Hmm. Okay. Let's get to work on this thing. Piece of history. All right. Uh, oh, geez. Let's just start with the stock. Geez, look at this. I think you could knock somebody out with this thing. It's probably hefty as heck. All right. Retainer spring. That's interesting that it's actually in the butt here. Or the, the stock lid. Which I would just assume it's really the butt too. So there's a hinge on here that lets you pop it open. This is really interesting. Okay. And I think we're done with that part. Okay, so then you gotta focus on this. So this is the barrel. And I mean, we really gotta piece this out, huh? Alright, uh, look at this. You can tell this is old. I like it. Safety. Disconnector. The sear. There's the sear. A lock frame stop. Okay. Now this is... What was this? Rocking coupler. And then the rocker plunger. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. Part of the sear. And then here's the hammer itself. Jeez, a lot to this. Look at this. There's still stuff in the stock. This is the stock holder. Okay. And then what else? Oh, this is for the trigger. Trigger spring, get the trigger out. Okay. Definitely a little beat up, but a lot better than the Uzi one. Some dirty stuff, some broken. Two things missing. And I can't make the things that are missing. So let's go ahead and clean up and then we'll work on buying the rest. All right, so this is the lock mechanism frame. And this connector is just a small little part. Now here's the actual hammer itself. This thing looks beefy. All right, now I gotta work on the stock. Oh, that's a lot better. This is like watching HGTV. They get on there, they start refer refurbishing, making it look real good. Awesome oil on there. And then the trigger springs the last part. This little guy. All right. So we need to get parts now. And since I can't make anything yet, maybe someday. So, let's see, Mauser. All right, uh, we need sear parts. Oops. Uh, we need the sear spring and the sear itself. 
All right, stock. We need stock parts. Uh, we need a latch and the bottom trigger button. Okay, where's that at? All right, main hitch plate and the trigger. I didn't. I, I didn't realize we had to buy a new trigger. All right, then the main hinge plate. Perfect. Fifty-five dollars. We'll buy it. On the nose. All right. So let's bail out of here and we'll grab these and toss them on here. Okay. A little button down there from the stock bottom button. Such an interesting gun. Not many parts to it. But man, oh man. I'm telling it's crazy. It's just the thing that gets me is that there's so little parts to it, yet it it does its job. It works. I think that's oh stock and stock lid. Alright. Uh don't mess with me again. All right, there we go. All right, where do we start? Let's start with the stock first. Okay. So we'll get all this stuff back on. The broom handle stock. Let's zoom in for that. It's a little hard to do. All right, and retainer spring and for the butt here. Or so this isn't called the butt. What do they call this? The top? The lid. see here it's a little hinge mechanism geez i thought those were gonna be i thought those were nails at first like oh we're doing a hammer in. that's what kind of gun this is all right and then we'll get that on looking real good now when working on this i kind of wish it was a car mechanic simulator where it zooms you in on the part that you're about to work on so you get a better sight of it Oh, wow, it's just going to let me toss that back on, huh? All right. Um, so I assume we need, yeah, we need to work on this before we can do anything else. So let's get the hammer back on here. Now, what is all this? This is the rocker plunger and the spring for it. This is the actual safety. It's crazy that this is the safety. Nowadays, it's just a button usually, isn't it? Like, this is an actual mechanism. All right, uh, here is the sear and the trigger spring. And now I think we can start piecing this back together. Yeah. Dang. All right, and then we just got to put this little button back in. I hate when it does it. <laughs> it like, it bails out so quickly and messes up the camera. Look at that. Looks good. Um, so let's grab the gun and we'll test it. All right, so we got to pull the hammer. Whack. That is interesting. Let's turn the safety off and pull it. Oh, wait, it wants me to pull the hammer and then make sure it's set to safe. The safety's turned on. That's my fault. All right, and then here we go. Put the safety back on. Now, what's this free test? Okay, no, I'm done with that. I thought that would take me to the um, ranges really quick. All right, uh, let's get this loaded up. And we're actually going to take that to the range, and then we'll take it to the cl close quarters. So what I want to do here is um, just try it out on the uh, range over here and see how it handles distances and stuff like that. So what's it set to right now? All right, and I just want to pull the close ones. This isn't going to be... Hmm. 
Now, what if we see the groupings kind of go up? They kind of peel up when you wrap it. Hmm. That's really cool. Oh, I guess you could just really get in there if you want to. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Well, if you're an ASMR nerd, get ready, because you just got bullet ASMR, I guess. All right, cool. Let's go take this into close quarters. Now, can I just jump? Uh, it's just talking about the actual tutorial. All right, so let's actually go ahead and stash this away and head here. Not going to worry about the destruction range, but I do want to run this through um, the close quarters simulation and see how it goes. We'll do random targets as well for this, just to get an idea of how it goes. So it's 10 shots, um, so I have to be wary of that because there's, what, like 13, I don't know, 20 something targets? I can't remember. 14. All right. Let's do this. Oh, never seen that. Oh, that's not good. This is why I don't play FPS games, because I'm not good at them. I don't have the reaction time like some do. Oh, jeez. I miss this guy. I'm dead. Oh, I'm gonna reload. All right, any more? It's a quick one. 19 targets, 36. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, so that was a fun little gun to play with too. All right, let's take it back. Unfortunately, we got to give it back. Definitely, I can't wait to start making enough money that I can build my own stuff. I'll have fun with this painting and stuff like that. You can't stop me. Activision's gonna hire me to be a, a gun painter specialist or whatever. Alright. Level 3. So let's see here. Uh, got to send it back. Made some money. Get some mail. Wait. No, I didn't. Oh, this is... Just tell me about PAP stuff. There's another AKM coming in. Um, what else can we look at? Retrofit? Okay, so this is, like, things we can do. Um... So can you buy incinerator QBZ? See, I want to get all the good stuff first before I start digging into this stuff. I want to get all the... Uh, what am I thinking of here? Oh, I can get... I'll just get a discount. Heck yeah. Um. Okay, we don't have anything in the safe. Makes sense. There's all kinds of different little things you could just click, huh? Let's take a look around really quick. I never did that. I didn't do that last episode. So I need to learn woodworking, wood finishing. What's this? Parts, cabinets, so put parts in there. Cleaning, so we manufacture and fix up. Then what? I see, yeah, here it is. Learn how to mill. Okay. Play the working... And this is where you do parts. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, metalworking for sandblasting. Well, yeah, I want to learn all this stuff. Oxidization? Okay, for bluing. Interesting. You gotta wear all that. So does that come with time? Like, okay, so here's the skills. Yeah, okay, so the, you can't learn them through that. I guess you just learn those over time. Probably working through Unpaps guns. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to wrap it up there for now. Um, you can see we did two guns. Really fun. Uh, probably keep pushing the main storyline here very shortly. Um, and just trying to unlock more stuff to mess with. So we can have a little bit more fun in these videos. 
So if you enjoyed this content, please, uh, you know, subscribe, like, leave a comment. You know, anything kind of helps bolster uh, the channel and helps kind of keep these videos coming out. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys again. Later. Bye.